Okay, so we're going to demonstrate how to create a new project where the buttons and labels and controls don't have any absolute sizes, but rather are all relative to each other. So let's just create a project and we're going to go directly to the storyboard and we're going to add our label and uh, put it where we want it with respect to the overall scene. And then we're going to do the same with a series of buttons and we're going to add five buttons so we drag the first one on and probably easier than anything else is just having created one we'll copy and paste so we've got our we now have four buttons and we're going to add a fifth button so there are all of our buttons and let's go ahead and give these the um, suggested constraints and just so we can see where these buttons are all are all located let's give them a background and everything looks roughly correct except we're not taking up the entire screen so I'm going to control drag from this last button to the storyboard and I'm going to say create a bottom space constraint to the bottom of the view and I'm just going to say that it's going to be 20. Now clearly our buttons and our labels are not the right size so what we're now going to do is we're going to control drag from the buttons up to the label and tell them to all be the same height as the label. So we're going to just set all of these to be the same height as the label, equal heights. And we're finally going to say, ask it to update the frames. So now we have a scene where we have a label and five buttons and they're all the same height and we have all the constraints necessary to do this. But one of our goals was to make these slightly different heights. So on our height constraint, we're going to change these. So for example, if we make this first button 70% of the label height, and our second button is going to be 60% of the label, and our fourth button, the height is going to be uh, where is our height constraint? Height is 50% um, of the label. And our third one, the height is going to be 40%. And our last one is the height is going to be 30%. Let's say 20%. Okay, so there we go. And let's um, update all of our... Uh, frames once more so let's update our frames and now we've got our labels so that and our buttons so that they are in decreasing size and if we take a look at the size of the storyboard scene right now it's just using an inferred size but let's go ahead and set it up for the 5.5 screen and you can see that the buttons are the right height and if we preview this for the 4.7 again the buttons are the are resizing all properly regardless of the size of the device and we did that through the use of a height constraint where the height is using a multiplier of the label in order to make sure that it resizes for the whatever device we happen to be showing it on in terms of what the correct multiples are, I just did 70, 60, 50, 40, 30% here, but you can use uh, whatever sizes you want and it might take a little experimentation, but hopefully that illustrates the basic idea.